Hey everyone, welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and uh, this is a quick look into the latest version of Windows 10 Redstone 5 that was actually released today. So there's a fast ring build today, uh, June 14th, it was released uh, around 1 p.m. Eastern and uh, it's 17692 and of course um, still no slow ring, eventually we should have something. So uh, to get this, you have to be an insider and you have to go and put your system in the uh, insider ring fast ring. It installed flawlessly, had no issues, about, um, about two hours and a half, I'd say. They seem to be a little quicker to install than before. The, the, what's quicker is mostly the first part, the um, you know, preparation phase seemed to be a little quicker. So um, of course, um, no problems, no blue screens. Been using it for the past uh, four hours approximately and had absolutely no issues. Been doing a lot of things using Edge. So what's new in this uh, version of uh, the Redstone 5? Uh, SwiftKey, which is a, um, a way of, of course, writing using the touch keyboard. So let's just to give you guys an idea. Uh, so when you actually are in tablet mode, so, you know, some people use this in, in on their phone that when you actually use the uh, touch keyboard, you can actually move on. And you see here the blue line. So you can write a word and just, you know, continue touching. You just go on each letters for whatever word you want to actually say. Um, so basically, SwiftKey is more accurate and auto corrections and predictions by learning your writing style. So basically uh, that is um, better and it's available for Android and iOS also. So um, this is an improvement and it's now in Windows 10 if you ever use your um, your touch keyboard if you're on a tablet for example. So it's kind of cool, you know, uh, if, if you have a tablet these are the kind of improvements that you probably want to see. I think it's really really worth it to, uh, to have these, uh, this working for sure. Uh, control whether media can play automatically. So now Microsoft Edge actually adds uh, something more. It's uh, the possibility that you can actually, um, in advanced setting, set if sites are actually going to uh, play uh, automatically videos or audio that you have on a page. For example, I've been plagued with this in, in some of the websites that I go to, uh, <laughs> sorry, this week. So, um, of course, <clears throat> one of the first things that you want is to, let's, let's, let's check it out and see if we can, uh, if we can change that somewhere. So advanced settings in Edge and uh, let's see, what do we have? Ask me what to do with each download, autofill, oh, here we go. Looking at the uh, detected use page protection to help me malicious content. Just trying to find where it is uh, exactly in the options. Um, it should be there in the advanced settings. Allow sites to automatically play media. So um, apparently there's something here about that that uh, I'm not finding, but uh, it, it's in there. It's in there somewhere. So anyways, you can uh, really, you know, uh, tweak that a little more. I don't see it, but uh, you know, that's something that plague. But remember that when you have a page that can play content, you always have the mute button. You can go on the, you know, right click on the tab and you get mute tab that will help you mute. I've been having, you know, I hate it when websites automatically start videos or, you know, I would, I would go even further with some of these options and even prevent videos from playing, honestly. Um, web driver improvements, beginning with this build, making it easier to, and then ever to automate testing uh, Microsoft Edge using a uh, web driver. So uh, this is for dev mode, of course, and developers will have a better way of doing things. Make text bigger and the ease of access. Uh, they had put a slider for make text bigger and the ease of access, and they had uh, suddenly kind of backed off a little bit. It wasn't exactly what you wanted. Uh, you see here also these new little panels here that are changing and 
making things a little different. Uh, they're tweaking these uh, little cards. They're kind of more beautiful um, in these cards. So, um, in ease of access and display, make everything bigger. You have this slider here, and this will, uh, once you apply it, be the norm for everything in the system. So I was here, let's see, I put it here, click apply, and here we go. So everything should be a little bigger. So this is different than the, the size and apps um, and, and everything. It's another type of, um, you know, making text bigger in, in Windows 10. So if you got a big display, you know, when you watch uh, Windows 10 or when you watch something, you know, um, on a big screen TV, one of the biggest problems with big screen TVs is the fact that text generally tends to look and, and you know, be small. And it's kind of uh, not very interesting. Uh, you can also have another option here. There's uh, the text display, but if you go back in all settings again, in uh, ease of access, you also have in the display setup, uh, make everything brighter. So you have this bright, this brightness control. It doesn't make uh, your screen brighter or not, but it actually improves upon the contrast of things. Narrator improvements, all sorts of improvements in there that they've been doing and clicking and changing. If you are using Narrator, they have tons of little things that uh, they have are trying to make better. So a few more little things that are better here. Uh, game bar improvements. So um, in the um, in the um, game bar in uh, Windows 10, they have actually um, made some improvement with the game bar with audio controls, performance, visualize, visualization uh, stuff, RAM usage, all sorts of little things that you can actually have better. There's a better game mode, the improved game mode. For that, I'd like to see somebody out there that is actually going to uh, help me out with this. So here you see this weird, this new control panel, this new panel when I bring up the uh, the settings or the game bar, which is kind of interesting. Um, and if you're a gamer, well, you know, is there really something new and something better in here? I don't know. Uh, search improvements. So basically, um, you know, if you do some searches in Cortana, you have noticed that there are an improvement in the way that things are showing up. So um, they're continuing to tweak this and in the theme of improving search, um, it's easier to find official download pages for Windows software you want to install. So um, let's, let's try something here. Let's do a Windows 10 ISO. Let's see where it brings me. Windows 10 at a glance, download Windows 10, yeah. Kind of brings you, uh, and even on the upper left, it actually uh, brought me to yeah, okay, uh, kind of interesting. And the fact that they um, actually bring me to the correct page is also very useful because there's so much of this uh, that, you know, it's kind of fake or, or you can, you know, download something that's not good because it'll have a virus or something. Windows Mixed Reality improvements, if you have that, you know, have improvements in here uh, for sure. So uh, that's what we have pretty much to say on uh, the build 17692. Uh, I've got really nothing much uh, to say. The um, operating system seems to be working well and um, it didn't crash. It seems to be quite uh, good in stability for sure. Of course, once again, remember that these are unfinished software, so there's tons of little things that have changed in here. Um, so there are, of course, some fixed stuff. There's a lot of little things that are fixed in here, but there's a lot of known issue. Um, if you use an active, um, an active sign-in method, by the way, like a picture, password picture, you might have a boot loop when you actually try to log in. So um, this is a known, um, a known issue. What they say is, you know, remove your password, your picture password, in order to uh, get in here. Um, apart from that, of course, lots of little bugs and things that they know about. They have a lot of stuff happening in here, and uh, you gotta understand that uh, it's normal. This is a uh, you know, a unfinished software. So that's a quick look 
at what's happening with Redstone 5 build 17692. Hope you enjoy videos. If you do, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.